Hello and welcome to So True, So False, where we debunk the latest celebrity gossip and give you the real facts. I'm Madison. And I'm Surge. Does Kim Kardashian pay an assistant $100,000 a year to Photoshop her Instagram pictures for her? This is so false. Although the 34-year-old looks false in all her pictures, even she wouldn't waste that much money on a photo I, professional photoshopper to Instagram her pictures. I might, but you know, no judgment. If I had, whatever. I, whatever. <laughs> whatever. whatever. Speaking of Instagram, are Kaylee Cuoco Sweeting and husband Brian Sweeting heading for a divorce? So false. The couple's very much so in love, as revealed through Cuoco's latest Instagram post, proving any of her doubters wrong. I think they're such a cute couple, there's nothing that can People happen. are always trying to dig up drama. So. Exactly. Did celebrities Kelly Ripa and Chrissy Teigen reveal they were pregnant? This is so false. The two jokesters had us fooled with their April Fool's prank, but the two are definitely not pregnant. Chrissy actually laughed off with kind of a cheeky comment saying, we aren't though. It doesn't mean that we aren't trying. We practice every day. Ayo. Oh! <laughs> Was Blue's legend B.B. <laughs> King hospitalized? So true. Oh. He was rushed to the hospital in Las Vegas due to diabetes-related complication, which is really sad. That's actually really sad, yeah. He's a, he's a legend. Thanks, Madison. Well, that's all, we, all the gossip we have for you today. Up next, Juliana and Chrissy will give us spring cleaning tips. Hi everyone, I'm Juliana here with Chrissy to talk about some spring cleaning tips that we can use to declutter our room to get ready for spring. What are some of your spring uh, cleaning tips? A great tip is to take all your warm clothes home for spring break, or at least put it away under your bed. Mm -hmm. um, they, tend to, they tend to take up a lot of space, um, so doing that will instantly declutter your room. Also, for a change in the atmosphere, rearranging your bedroom in a way that maximizes your space. Um, you can redecorate by adding some vibrant spring colors in your room decorations, changing your throw pillows, rug, or filling up mason jars with bright colored pencils and office accessories. Mm -hmm. I agree, especially the whole color thing, like my comforter is black and it's bl like dark blue too, so mm -hmm. I think that if it was like maybe like a brighter brighter color, maybe yeah. a brighter blue. It'll liven it up a mm -hmm. bit, yeah. Totally. And also opening the blinds can really let some mm -hmm. light in. And with the whole decluttering thing, what's a really good idea is to, like my winter boots were all out on the floor near my bed because I would, you know, use them every day, but putting them away in your closet clears up that floor space. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And with the whole springtime vibe, my roommate has been growing flowers from Target, those $1 uh, seeds that you can get in the $1 section of Target. So that's a really good idea to like, you're like, oh, there's flowers in my room, yeah. you know, growing all that. So that's another way to just keep it very springtime, clean, great, nice, everything. Well, thanks, Juliana. That's all the time we have for today. Up next, we'll be talking about your favorite childhood toys and how much they are worth today. Hello, eTalkers. I'm here with Lexi and Juliana uh, to talk about how valuable some of our favorite childhood toys are now. So one of my favorite games as a child, I don't know if you guys played it, was Pretty Pretty Princess, where you made yes. your way around the board and you got to like you dress up and then I think the winner got the crown, like the goal was to get the crown. Great game, fabulous game. Um, I'm sure it retailed way back in the 90s when I was young for like less than $20. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's $145. Wow. wow. So Especially because it's just all plastic. Like yeah, oh yeah. Cheap. yeah. I'll probably make your own for cheaper. Right? I wanted to. Mm -hmm. It was a great, it was a great game though. <laughs> yeah. I thought about buying it again because I can't find mine, but or selling mine if I ever find it in my basement yeah, for $145. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, a favorite one of mine was the Light Bright. I don't know if you guys remember yes. that. Oh, a piece that of paper, you know, overusing the piece of paper over and over and over to again. To get the pattern in. Yeah. 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 And now it is $75. So much, much more expensive than it probably would. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't super cheap because it was like a plug-in toy, but, but it's like much a little, more expensive. Like, it's literally a light with a plastic thing over it and little, yeah. little pegs. Yeah. That was my first <laughs> Christmas present. So. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Yeah. That's super cute. And Lexi, what did you have for your toy? For my toy, I actually, I don't know if you guys ever played with them, but I had uh, a Felicity American Girl doll. Yes. I had uh, Addie and Samantha. <laughs> I had Kit. It was my favorite one. Okay, yep. Felicity, mm -hmm. Felicity was my favorite, but I also really liked Molly. But Felicity, for whatever reason, can go for $440 on Amazon. I mean, they weren't cheap wow. to begin with, mm -hmm. but that's... Is she discontinued now? She Maybe was. That's why she so. actually was discontinued for a little bit, and that's why I got her. But then mm -hmm. she came back. Oh, Because okay. Shalane Woodley was in the movie version of Felicity. Was she really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fun fact. Yeah, because they started making movies and everything mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. I remember I read, like, all of the books from all of the dolls. Yeah. 
because they were just the ghoulest way yeah. back when. And the movies. Oh, I like the Samantha movie. Great movie. Yes, yes. Samantha was one of my favorites because she was my doll. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, well, that's all we have for you today. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, this is eTalk Webcast.